Hello to you my beautiful YouTube viewers and welcome to my channel Heart and Soul Tarot. My name is Jay and I have got a pick a card reading here for you. Just want to say a massive thank you to anyone who's liked, shared or subscribed to my channel. It really does mean a lot to me and thanks for coming along to watch my video this morning. Um, I hope everyone's had a wonderful holiday season, Christmas or holidays, however you've celebrated or not celebrated. Hope it's been a lovely peaceful time for you. We do have some New Year predictions for you today and this is to take a look at what is coming up for you in 2020. We have three options, okay, option one, option two and option three. Quickly going to apologise about my voice, I'm still not 100% well but I just couldn't wait any longer. I wanted to get some readings done for you, the collective. If you do need more time then please pause the video here, otherwise I'm going to get started with group number one. Hi there group one and welcome to your reading. Let's take a look at your 2020 predictions. What is coming up for you? Okay, so the first card we have is the Seven of Swords. Not the best card, I'm not going to lie here. Um, this can indicate some sort of sneaky behaviour, some sort of deception. Something not so pleasant going on, okay. Um, let's take a look what's next. But then we have the Hermit. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is that you have experienced something that hasn't been so pleasant, okay, something um, where somebody perhaps has been telling fibs or lies or some sort of sneaky, deceptive behaviour, which has actually caused you to go within yourself, okay? And that's how you're going to be starting the year off, is what I'm feeling. You're moving away from this um, deceptive behaviour and taking a really good look at yourself and how you can relight your own inner flame, how you can relight your own passion. Um, and this could have actually triggered some sort of spiritual transformation is what I'm getting here, okay? Then we have the Seven of Cups, lovely energy. Now with the Seven of Cups, it can indicate some sort of emotional confusion going on here, okay? Um, it can also indicate a lot of choices. So what I'm feeling is, as I said, you're moving away from the sneaky, deceptive behaviour that you might have experienced, especially in the latter part of 2019. Moving into yourself is what I'm really getting here with the Hermit card being here. And that's going to open up your options, okay? As you can see in this particular seven of cups and um, this lady she's kind of freeing herself and this butterfly here does indicate some sort of transformation so perhaps it was your behavior here okay that has been questionable not for all of you of course um, but for some of you okay but there is some sort of a transformation definitely with a combination of this hermit card here and then this seven of cups with this beautiful butterfly here but look how this lady's off the ground here, okay? So I do feel that things are going to be lifting off for you going into 2020. Things are changing, things are shifting. And I also want to say that you're going to be trusting your intuition more, okay? Um, whatever it is that has happened in the past has actually set you on this spiritual path, this journey of your own, this transformation that you are going to be experiencing within 2020. Then we have this Eight of Swords energy, okay, so this energy, okay, actually speaks about a situation where you could be feeling a little bit overwhelmed or trapped, okay, where you feel that you are actually stuck in a certain situation. Could also indicate a time of where you're going to be caring for others. And what I'm really feeling is that after, as I say, um, whatever it is that has triggered this transformation, this hermit mode that you're going to be going into, this spiritual path for you, I see you freeing yourself from anything that no longer serves you and understanding that you are able to do that. Quite a nice combination with these two cards being here. I actually want to get some clarification for this group, okay? So what's the seven of swords about, please? Okay, it's about the page of swords here. So something in regards to communication here, okay? Could be a younger air sign, although it doesn't have to be, okay? Um, but yeah, freeing yourself um, from the... From any conversations, any communication that isn't serving you anymore, I do see, as I say, that shift coming in for you. The Hermit is after the Five of Cups. Okay, so for some of you, okay, right now you could be feeling in a place of loss or lack, okay? Could even be some remorse or guilt surrounding some of you as well. Um, and I feel in the past, perhaps you have been a little bit too focused on the Three Cups spirit here. As I say, see, this is going to be a time of shift for you, where you are going to be turning around and starting to focus on these two cups here. Know that this is this too is a blessing, okay? Even if it doesn't feel like a blessing right now, it is, because it is going to transform 
and trigger you to look deeper within yourself and how you, as I say, can relight your own inner fire um, and turn this around so that you can focus on the positives that have come from this situation as opposed to the negatives that might have been there before for you. The Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups about, please, Spirit? Well, we have strength here, okay? So, yeah, you're, you're realising your own inner strength here. Realising that you are in control is what I'm getting here as well. You are the master of your own destiny here. We do have an eight in nature, okay? So, I feel that finances are going to improve within um, the year of 2020 for you as well. For some of you, okay, this could be a soulmate connection, okay? Um, where this deception or this um, feeling of lack or... Um, perhaps remorse or guilt is going on here, okay? Um, but yeah, realising your own inner strength here and understanding that you can calm the beast, tame the beast is what I'm getting. I feel for many of you in this group, okay, um, 19, 19, sorry, 2019 was a year of lessons for you. Lots of ongoing lessons and being brought to the um, infinity sign here, okay? It's about breaking that cycle is what I'm feeling 2020 is going to be about for you. It's about freeing yourself, it's about transformation and realising your own inner strength. What's this Eight of Swords about, please? have the nine of cups beautiful so wish fulfillment okay knowing that everything has served its purpose like i was saying i feel the 2019 was a, a year of many lessons for many of you within this group okay now it's about getting your wish fulfillment it's about reaching for the stars it's about bringing into your life what you choose to bring into your life and understanding that you're the one in control here realizing your own inner strength and you have the ability to change your life around and that's what i really feel strongly is happening for you um, in 2020. Let's take a look at your oracle cards. Well, we have a victory, okay? So yeah, everything has served its purpose. It's all brought you to this point and it is going to be a victorious year for you. We do have attachment here, the number five, okay? Like I said, for some of you, this could be a soul connection. It could be a soulmate. It could be a uh, twin flame that you're dealing with, okay? Um, I feel that you're going to be releasing this connection. Um, not necessarily, you know, releasing the feelings you have for this person, but understanding that you don't have to stay where you're not appreciated, understanding that you have the ability to transform your life, you have it in your hand is what I'm really strongly feeling with this group. Then we have the never ending story. So yeah, definitely for some of you, this is um, something that you know is with another person. It is a soul connection, okay? Um, but what I'm feeling is by freeing yourself, by allowing yourself to transform, okay, to move away from the set deceptive behavior here and um, looking at your own inner light okay it's going to trigger things in the correct direction for you so for some of you i am feeling you've got two tens here as well i'm noticing that this is a completion of a cycle for you okay and it's a brand new cycle beginning um, with this never-ending story here and then we have the here and now. So yeah, focusing right now on what is right in front of you. And what's interesting is you've got 28, which is a 10. You've got a 5. You've got a 3 and a 7, 37, which is also a 10. And we have a 3 and a 2, which is a 5. So, you know, lots of transformations here, allowing for a completion of a cycle here. But yeah, going into 2020, I see that you are going to be more focused on what is happening in the here and now. You're going to leave the past where it is, is what I'm getting. You're not going to be so stressed about what's going to happen in the future. You're just going to be focusing on what's there right in front of you at this present moment. Then we have vulnerability and meadow, beautiful energy here. So allowing for yourself to be more vulnerable is what I'm getting for some of you, okay? Perhaps you have been very closed off in the past. And for others of you, it's understanding the importance of vulnerability, okay? Um, and growth as well is what I'm getting. It's going to be a year of growth for you. Like I was saying, I do feel that you have encountered many lessons during this last year and going forward. This is where you're going to be able to put those lessons into play. Things are going to really change around for you is what I'm really strongly getting, group one beautiful and then we have this blessings card rainbows and blessings okay so yeah blessings are finally coming to you um i feel for many of us it's been a quite a tough year is what i'm getting okay it's been um an ongoing battle i almost want to say okay but now there is a rainbow at the end of that you're nearing the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow there these blessings these beautiful blessings coming towards you in 2020 and i'm actually going to go back to this butterfly here you're going through some sort of a massive transformation here okay um yeah but things are really definitely shifting and shifting in your favor wish fulfillment okay now is the time for your wish fulfillment is what i'm getting and then we have receive with love and appreciation gracious acceptance is a way to show love beautiful energy here okay 
Um, so yeah, what I'm getting here is that now it's time for you to receive, okay? I feel you've given a lot in the past. You've given so much of yourself. Now it's time to take that step back. It's time to focus on you and start allowing things to flow to you rather than um, be the one that's giving it. It's going to be you that's in the receiving mode going into 2020. And um, this beautiful, you know, snowflake here shows about being unique, okay? I do feel you're a very unique person. You're understanding the power of your own uniqueness. You are understanding that you are in a position where you can change your life around, where you can free yourself as well. I feel that you've gained a lot of wisdom in the last year with all these lessons that have been happening, okay? You are more intuitive, um, but definitely wiser is what I'm really feeling here. And I do feel that the month of July is going to be of great significance for this particular group because I'm being drawn to that number seven there, okay? Um, the month of July, I do feel, is going to be a huge month for you, group one. Um, but yeah, definitely your blessings are on their way to you. It is time for you now to go into um, receiving mode and love and appreciation is finally going to find you and your wishes are going to start to come true in 2020, Group 1. And that was your reading. I do hope this reading has been helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you and your situation. I'd really like to hear that. And if you want to give me a like, share and subscribe, I'd appreciate that as well. And I'm wishing you a wonderful new year. Take care, everyone. Bye. Hi group two and welcome to your reading. Okay, let's have a look what is coming towards you in 2020. We have the Queen of Swords, okay, beautiful energy here. This speaks about clear communication, okay. It speaks about you knowing exactly what you want and how to achieve it as well as what I'm really getting here. It's a chance for you to be the best communicator you possibly could be. Can speak about being a little bit closed off in the heart space, okay, and being more focused on, you know, the logical side of things. There's nothing wrong with that at all. What I am getting with this card, okay, is for many of you, perhaps you have been through a lot, and right now you're in a place where you actually are going to start putting yourself first. We also have nine of cups, wonderful, okay, so this speaks about wish fulfillment, it can speak about your dreams finally coming true, it can speak, like I was saying, and I feel that, you know, you're going to be doing what is best for you and ultimately focusing on what it is you want out of life. What I do want to mention with this nine of cups, okay, um, is just to be aware of not being too um, self-indulgent, and what I mean by that is... Um, distractions more so than um, being self-indulgent then okay um perhaps not drinking too much or um working too much trying to focus more on your self-love then okay rather than distractions is what i'm actually feeling for some of you within this group okay it's not going to apply for everyone just for some of you but definitely wish fulfillment coming in here um really focusing on what it is you want out of life and having the headspace to do that, okay? Um, everything's going to be clear for you. I'm looking at this sword here, okay? If your clarity is coming to many of you as well in 2020, it is going to be a time where you're going to know exactly what it is you want and how you're going to achieve these dreams and wishes. Beautiful energy. Wow, well, and then we have another nine of cups. <clears throat> Again, okay, this speaks about wish fulfillment. It speaks about your dreams coming true. It speaks about everything kind of falling into place is what I'm really feeling for you, group two in 2020. And about time, no doubt, okay. Again, you no, know, it does you know indicate some sort of um party or gathering here, okay. So I feel that your social life is going to be improving as well, okay. You are if you have been a little bit in hermit mode, I do see that you're going to be attending more social gatherings. You are going to be putting yourself out there is what I'm getting here, okay? Lovely energies. Let's take a look further. And strength, beautiful. So realising your own inner strength here as well, okay? Like I was saying, I do feel that, you know, you are going to be doing what is right for you. You are realising what you want out of life and how to achieve it. And that is actually going to... Um, it's actually going to stir up your inner strength, okay? You are going to be able to achieve what it is that you set out to. I did mention for some of you, okay, perhaps you have been a little bit overindulgent in some areas, you know, whether it's drinking, whether it's um, partying a little bit too hard, okay? Um, this is only for some of you, um, but this is all about sort of holding back that beast, okay? Taming the beast. So what I'm seeing is for some of you, you're going to be moving away from that and coming back into a more 
healthy headspace then, okay? Um, and for others of you, you know, where you have, as I say, been in more hermit mode, I feel you're going to have the strength and the ability to go back into that environment where you are going to be socialising more, you are going to be attending parties more. So it's kind of one extreme to the other, okay, depending on which part of this particular group you are. I am going to get some clarification here, okay, but we've definitely got some wonderful energies here. Um, Queen of Swords, you know, knows exactly what she wants and she knows how to achieve it. She's a very clear speaker as well, okay. Not afraid to speak your truth as well. We do have this beautiful three of cups to clarify that, okay. It does speak about union, it does speak about coming together, it does speak about a party as well, okay. Um, and it speaks about celebration and fun. So I see in 2020 is going to be a time of lots of fun for you. What's this first nine of cups about? It's beautiful that you've got the two nine of cups, okay? Because they are, as I say, wish fulfillment. Well, we have the queen of swords. So it's definitely okay about you knowing what you want. You speaking your truth in order to achieve your dreams is what I'm really getting here. In order to achieve your wish fulfillment. Now, for some of you, okay, this wish fulfillment, it is about a relationship. It is about your counterpart with the king of swords being here, okay? Um, and it is... Perhaps about a committed relationship or some sort of a spiritual journey that you've been on with your counterpart, okay? We do have air signs being represented here. Um, Aries, not Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It doesn't have to be though, okay? And we have Taurus's energy here. But either way, okay, I do feel that there's going to be a time where you're going to be meeting your soulmate. Or for those of you who are already with somebody, it could be elevated to the next level of commitment with this Hierophant being here, okay? And that is actually your wish fulfillment here is what I'm getting. So what's the strength card about, please, Spirit? What's the strength card about? What's the strength card about? We have the King of Cups, okay, so this person that you could be dealing with, okay, do feel for many of you in this group, it is some sort of a soul connection here, okay, can't deny that we do have counterparts on the table here, could be someone that you've had hidden feelings for for a long time, it could be somebody who's got very deep and hidden feelings for you as well, okay, but having the strength to go after exactly what it is you want, whether it is a person, whether it's a lifestyle, whether it's a new career, whatever it is, okay, it's putting your heart and soul into it is what I'm getting and it's actually achieving what you set out to get. It's really beautiful energy is here for 2020. Then we have financial constraints. Okay, so what this is telling me that, you know, for some of you, this is a new opportunity within business. Okay, it is a new opportunity within your career. And what I'm wanting to notice and what I'm looking at is the fact that one of these doors is closed. So what I'm feeling is you're closing the doors on these financial constraints going into 2020. So perhaps in the beginning of the year, okay, things are not exactly going to be where you would like them to be financially. However, I do see those doors closing, okay, and this brand new door, this new opportunity for you opening up in regards to your finances, okay. Then we have the third chakra, Archangel Chamul, beautiful energy. And we do have a 37, which is a 10, a completion of a cycle. Again, indicating, okay, that this is a brand new cycle for you in regards to your finances. But what I'm also feeling, okay, is um, for those of you who are dealing with a soulmate or a counterpart here, um, it's about your fears, okay? It's releasing anything from the past that no longer serves you and allowing for your dreams and your wishes to come true now. Being vulnerable, allowing for things to unfold in natural timing is what I'm really getting here, okay? We have the Between Worlds card, lovely. So there's a big, huge transformation here, okay? Things right now are not where you would like them to be, but know these wishes and these and this wish fulfillment is coming to you. We've got two Nine of Cups, as I say. We've got the Queen of Swords twice. Don't be afraid to speak your truth is what I'm really getting here as well, okay? You have transformed as well as what I'm getting. You are no longer the version of yourself that you used to be. Things are going to be more colourful going forward in 2020 is what I'm really getting, okay? Um, there's say these wish fulfillments are coming in for you. You're going from the dark grey areas, okay, the lessons perhaps that you've been learning, and now it's time for these blessings and abundance to come towards you. The more colourful of things coming towards you in life, and I feel in love as well, especially in, um, yeah, I definitely feel that there is going to be a, a significant then um, soul connection coming towards you in 2020 here, group two. Wow, and then we have the tribe. So again, this indicates, okay, that there is going to be this beautiful soul connection coming towards you. Someone who is a part of your tribe, your soul tribe. 
but what I'm also getting is you're calling in your tribe in general, okay? Um, for some of you, okay, maybe it's not a relationship with this higher frontier, maybe it is all part of your soul journey, maybe it is part of your spiritual transformation then, okay? But I feel you're calling in members of your tribe all the same. I do feel that you have gone through some sort of a transformation, okay? These wishes are now starting to come in for you wish fulfillment is coming and your tribe members are being drawn to you beautiful beautiful energies here we have shape shifting and clouds so definitely you know this kind of like the um between the worlds card here okay big shifts big changes within yourself is what i'm getting i feel your confidence is going to be growing as well in 2020 okay um and having more abilities just go with the flow okay to adapt to shape shift should the scenario call for it is what I'm getting with this card being here. And then we have focus and crystals, wonderful energy. I do see that you are going to be very focused. Like I said right at the beginning, I do feel that, you know, you're going to be understanding what it is you want from life and how to achieve it. You are going to be very focused in 2020 on achieving everything that you set out to achieve. Your inner strength is going to be growing. Your confidence is going to be growing. Your intuition and your ability to speak your truth, okay, with the colours in this card, especially with two queens of swords here. doesn't mince our words, okay, quite able to speak what she wants into into reality then okay and wow we have full moon and completion so you've definitely been completing cycles this year of 2019 okay you've kind of learned lots of lessons is what i'm getting and i want to say that the full moon that's going to be coming up for us is actually going to be like tying up the loose ends okay tying up the final little bits in order for a brand new beginning in 2020 in order for you to step through this door into this more colorful life into this time where these abundant blessings are coming your way okay but definitely some sort of a completion has occurred within 2019 which has changed you it's made you more focused on yourself i want to say okay and doing what is right for you and i do definitely feel that is what's going in coming in rather for you in 2020 treasure your loved ones it is important to love others deeply beautiful and again we have a number 10 here okay so yeah definite completions of cycles so while you're focusing okay i feel that you are going to be more in a place where you are going to focus on what you need out of life and how to achieve that that's actually going to Grow your empathy is what I'm getting, okay? You're actually going to then reach out to the further community, to those around you. But what I'm really getting, again, I want to say, you know, we do have right next to each other the king and the queen of swords here, okay? Could both be air signs, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Um, but your counterpart, I feel it's going to be a significant year in regards to relationships for you and one particular relationship, one soul connection in particular, okay? Um, and yeah, you're going to be... I want to say scooping it all up in your hands, okay, allowing for the blessings to come in and really nurturing and watering those blessings as well, okay, allowing for the sunshine to be shining upon you and your loved ones in the, the year of 2020. I do see beautiful blessings coming your way, I do see that you are going to be calling in your soulmates, your tribe in general, okay, and let's not, you know, forget we've got these two nine of caps here okay so beautiful wish fulfillment um achieving everything that you put your mind to at this time and for those of you who are already with your soul metal connection okay do see that that level of commitment is going to be elevated okay so it could be marriage it could be moving in together but yeah deep feelings here um and for many of you as i say a huge significant relationship coming towards you in 2020 and that was your reading group too. I do hope this reading has been helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you and your situation. I would love to hear that. And I shall see you in another reading. Take care. Bye. Hi group three and welcome to your reading. Let's take a look what is coming towards you in 2020. We have beautiful. We have the nine of pentacles. So standing into your true energy, lovely people. Okay, being really independent, having your coin together, things really coming into fruition for you. Abundance is coming your way. Is what I'm feeling. This card is like the um, minor version of the Empress energy. Okay, it's the divine feminine energy, male or female doesn't matter. Embracing that beautiful divine feminine energy. And this beautiful abundance, okay, blossoming abundance coming your way with these coins all around you, okay. And really standing into your energy in general is what I'm feeling for many of you going into 2020, okay. 
Let's take a look further. We have the death card, number 13. Okay, so this speaks about transformation. Okay, there has been a feel in the recent past. And I want to say perhaps within the last three months, there's been some sort of an ending, okay? Allowing for a brand new beginning to come towards you, allowing for you to transform. And that is actually what's encouraged you to stand into your true energy here and yeah, just walk your talk is what I'm getting here, okay? Understanding that you are the master of your own destiny is what I'm really feeling for you, group three. But yeah, this transformation is occurring, okay? Brand new beginning. So, you know, a brand new year, a brand new decade, and a brand new you is what I'm really feeling, group three. Beautiful energy. We have the justice card. Wonderful. So things coming into balance for you, okay? And um, things finally... Paying off is what I'm getting, okay? For many of you, you could have been on some sort of a spiritual journey, some sort of transformation for quite some time, okay? Um, but now this is kind of like the, the last little bit before it all comes into balance, before everything starts to work out in your favour is what I'm getting. For some of you, okay, this could indicate a marriage or a committed relationship for you. You know, with the death card being here, for some of you, it could indicate, you know, that... Um, a relationship, perhaps you're waiting on a divorce to come through or something like that, okay? And this is the ending and brand new beginning that you're waiting for. That's just for the you know, minority of you, a few of you. For the majority of you, as I say, I think it's about balancing the scales. I feel it's about the shift in um, seasons, okay? But the shift in you, a huge shift in you, beautiful transformations occurring, things starting to balance out and blessings coming your way, allowing for you to stand into your true energy, your true power of this beautiful nine of pentacles energy. What else have we got? We've got this two of swords. Okay, so you do have a decision to make, okay? Going into 2020, you do have a decision to make. Now, this could be a decision on whether you're going to continue with the old or whether you're going to take a brand new leap of faith in a totally different direction is what I'm getting for some of you, okay? This could be something that you have been battling with for some time, okay? But no, whatever path you choose to take, it is going to be a path of abundance for you is what I'm feeling. It's almost like you can't make the wrong decision. The universe has got your back here and it's going to be supporting you in the direction that you need to be going in, okay? Wonderful energies. Actually, I'm just going to get some clarifier cards for you. This is Nine of Pentacles about the Spirit. We have... Well, we have the victory card, okay? Six of wands, beautiful energy, sitting on that horse there, okay? Victory is coming to you. So, yeah, standing in your true power, your divine feminine energy is going to allow for victory to come towards you. We have the lovers, okay, to clarify the death card. Like I was saying, for some of you, okay, could be an end of a relationship, even a divorce for some of you, um, which is allowing for a brand new beginning, okay? For others of you, it's an end of a current situation allowing for this beautiful soul connection to come towards you so yeah i am feeling in 2020 it is going to be a year where you're going to have a significant partner okay coming into your life or perhaps it's a new phase within a current relationship okay but definitely a soulmate connection coming towards you with that um lover's card here right we do have the seven of swords as i'm speaking about this connection in the reverse okay so whereas in the past perhaps you have experienced a not so great behavior within relationships okay whether it's been you know sneaky behavior whether it's been cheating lying whatever the situation might be okay no, that's coming to an end. It's in the reverse here, okay? Things are shifting. Things are transforming. And you're going to be bringing in far more balance into your life is what I'm getting here. Wonderful, wonderful energies here. We do have Scorpio's energy. We have Libra's energy. And we have Gemini's energy prominently on the table here, okay? But it doesn't have to be these energies. Okay, so what's this justice card about, please, Spirit? What's this justice card about? Oh, it's a few too many. What's this justice? Now the cards don't want to jump, okay. Maybe that's because I have already, as they explained, the things are going from this, you know, seven of swords. I feel in the past you would have had quite negative experiences within relationships then, okay. But there's definitely coming in to more harmonious, more balanced connection coming towards you, group three, wonderful. Okay, we have... 
we have the Ace of Wands, brand new passionate beginnings, okay? We have the Three of Swords in the reverse, and we also have the Two of Pentacles. So definitely, okay, some sort of a decision is needed to be made for you, Group 3, okay? We've got this Two of Swords indicating that, and now we've got this Two of Pentacles, okay? For some of you, okay, I feel that there has been someone who has perhaps been juggling, okay? Could be juggling too many people, could be juggling... Um, too many situations, okay, whatever it is, but that is coming to an end for you. There's a definite transformation allowing for this brand new cycle, this brand new beginning here, this passionate new beginning where things are going to be more balanced. I see it's going to be a time of healing for you, okay, going away from the heartbreak that you would have experienced, especially within the last three months of this particular year, okay, um, and things coming more into balance for you, group three is what I'm getting. What's this two of swords? What's this decision that needs to be made, please, spirit? What is this two of swords? Seven of pentacles. Okay, so seven of pentacles. These seeds have already been planted. And what's interesting is we've got the eight of pentacles on the bottom here. Okay, we're going to talk about that in a second. But seven of pentacles. Something is about divine timing, okay? You have planted seeds in regards to this connection is what I'm feeling, okay? There is a massive shift within your connection. Or it's a brand new person coming towards you, okay? Someone that perhaps you've been waiting on. Not necessarily the person, but the situation, okay, for this change to come in, for a balanced relationship, for equal give and take is what I'm really feeling here, okay. It's coming towards you. It's about leaving things in the past that need to be left in the past. It's about looking at things slightly differently, taking a different viewpoint on things is what I'm getting, okay. But you've definitely been working very hard on yourself in 2019 is what I'm getting, okay. And that is what is, you know, we've got seven of pentacles, we've got the eight of pentacles, and now we've got the nine of pentacles as well, okay. So it's progression here. You've been working very hard on your coin here. You've been working very hard on yourself and understanding that everything is going to unfold in divine timing for you, okay. 2020, I'm feeling, is your year for this to happen, okay. It's finally your turn for happiness. It's finally your turn for a deep soul connection where there is going to be beautiful balance. And, you know, it doesn't have to be a relationship, but I feel for many of you it is a relationship, okay? Could be within work where you haven't been really appreciated in the past, okay? But things are just turning around in your favour. Victory is on its way to you. Brand new passionate beginnings and definitely more balance coming towards you in 2020, Group 3. Wonderful energies here. Then, while well, we have adjacent possibilities, okay, so new opportunities coming towards you. Again, you know, I want to go back to the Seven of Pentacles. It is about looking at things differently. You, I feel, are different. You are not the person that you were before. And that is actually um, putting you in a really good stead. You're able to look at different possibilities now. Perhaps in the past you had a very one-track mind. And by that I mean, you know, you could only see one approach to things. I feel that's expanding for you. And I feel many doors are going to be open for you, you're gonna have lots of opportunities within career, within relationships, um, but yeah, definitely lots of opportunities coming towards you, and you taking a look at things differently is what I'm really getting here. We have the world, so you've completed some sort of a cycle here, okay? You've gone through lots of lessons is what I'm getting. You're understanding um, how the outside world affects your inner world as well is what I'm getting, how the people that you hang out with, how the music that you listen to, how the programs that you watch on the television or don't watch on the television, can have a massive effect on you. You're understanding that the outside world does actually affect your inner world as well, is what I'm getting. Um, but yeah, completion of a cycle and a brand new beginning here for you in 2020. Wonderful energy. Time to go. So letting go, okay? Like we said, I do feel you have a decision to make here, okay? Whether it's to leave, you know, things from the past in the past in order to fully embrace this brand new beginning in 2020 for you. I do see you doing that, okay? You're going to be leaving anything that no longer serves you behind so that you can find your ultimate wish fulfillment, so that you can set yourself on the right path is what I'm really feeling here, group three. Wow, and then we have no place like home. Beautiful. So, you know, perhaps for some of you, okay, like I was saying, there is a deep soul connection here, okay? Perhaps you've never had that connection where it does feel like home for you. For others of you, okay, you could already be dealing with this person, but things haven't exactly been harmonious, okay? But I feel you're going back to that energy of no place like home. Your home is your sanctuary. Almost like what I was saying about how the world here, okay, you're understanding that things on the outside actually affect 
the inner world okay going back to wholeness going back to who you truly are really making your own sanctuary okay around you and i also feel the connection coming towards you the soulmate coming towards you is going to make you feel like there is no place like home you're going to feel like home to one another is what i'm really getting there wow and then we have love and compassion beautiful so a deep deep level of love and compassion is coming towards you in um, 2020 group three okay um, and what I'm really feeling as well is this compassion that you're going to allow yourself you're going to allow yourself more love and compassion you really are working on yourself and I do feel that the year of 2019 has been very significant in regards to that. I feel you've upped your self love okay I also feel I'm being drawn to the seven of swords in the reverse I don't feel you're going to accept any seven of swords behavior going into 2020 okay anyone who does not treat you right from now on it's bye bye you're going to show them love and compassion by all means but they are not going to come in they are not going to affect your inner world they are not going to steal your inner peace anymore okay beautiful love and compassion coming towards you in 2020 then we have the tree and grounding so yeah really grounded energy going into the month the year of 2020 okay it's actually making me go back to this um balance here okay this um justice energy things being more harmonious things being more balanced things being more grounded okay and i'm also feeling that you know these roots go really really deep and as the roots go deep so you're going to expand okay so you're going to truly step into your true divine feminine energy say male or female it does not matter standing in your true energy because you've really worked hard on grounding yourself on building those deep deep roots so that you can expand within love within compassion within your career within everything i do feel it's going to be a massive massive year for you 2020 and then well we have the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love number seven wonderful energy here okay so like i was saying this huge amount of love and compassion coming towards you in 2020 not just from the outside from yourself as well and i do see that you're doing that okay you're shifting your focus back to love you're realizing that love is real that there is a reason um to love yourself okay that there is no it's not from a place of ego then okay it's for a place from a place from your soul it's necessary in order to have healthy relationships to love yourself and i feel you really understand the importance of that i'm being drawn to these um doves here okay so inner peace again i want to say and this beautiful rainbow which indicates blessings okay and we've got that world card as well there again okay so you know the world understanding that the outside world does have an effect on how you feel about yourself on how you um contribute to Towards the your inner world okay is going to have a positive effect on your outer world as well as what I'm really getting but really up in your inner love and this beautiful soul connection that I feel is coming towards you or you know a deeper level of love within the current connection okay there's going to be love 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 all around you this beautiful place of no feeling and no place like home okay beautiful energies coming towards you letting go of anything that's no longer serving you and coming from a place of true whole spiritual love is what i'm really getting for you group three going into 2020 and throughout the year this beautiful transformation has already occurred different opportunities coming towards you within all aspects of your life and that was your reading group three i do hope this reading has been helpful please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you and your situation i'd love to hear that and if you want to give me a like share and subscribe i'd really appreciate that as well and I shall see you in another reading. Take care and have a wonderful new year. Bye now.